okay <laughs> this this feels foreign is this foreign I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna stop playing with my hair. We're just gonna chat, okay? It has been two years. Two years, you guys, since I have uploaded on this channel. And a lot has changed in two years. I'm here to tell you. I'm still a mess. I'm still not a professional. I have not left and come back as a professional YouTuber, editor, filmer, whatever. Um, I'm still just a mess. I'm gonna try not to look at myself. It's very hard when you're like watching your time and your screen and you know. Okay, shut up, Carly. Two years since I have uploaded on this channel and I don't know why, but I have been like wanting to upload more over here. I just think that I'm in such a different place in my life than when, a very, very different place in my life than when I started YouTube. I started YouTube when I was 23, okay? I'm now 36, 13 years. Proud of me for that math. 13 years and so much has changed. I wanted to do like a get ready with me and just like talk about the changes that are happening. I started YouTube when I was 23. I had no idea where it was gonna take me, what was gonna happen, how the path was gonna unveil or unfold itself. Like I, I had no clue. I just saw that my brother was doing it. He was doing well. My sister-in-laws were doing it. They were loving it. My other brother started a channel and he was like having fun with it. Then me and my sister-in-laws decided we wanted to start a channel for moms and women together, the Moms You. And it was my out. <laughs> I was a single mom. And you guys might know a lot of this, but maybe it'll feel like a different perspective talking about it as things have healed and just different now, you know? Um, I saw an out to get out of my small, cute little town, Pocatello, live here now, um, when I was in the midst of going through a crazy, hard divorce and trying to find myself and not wanting to work three jobs as a single mom to provide. And it just seemed like the big girl move. I got to move to California to start a YouTube channel completely do something that I was not familiar with, that I had no idea how it would go, and just start an adventure, start in life. And now here we are 13 years later, I have five kids, I'm married, we're in a new home since I've last vlogged. I have two daughters since I last vlogged, but I have three daughters all together, two boys, three girls, two dogs, <laughs> a newborn, a, a different home like it just life is a wild ride. anyway so I've been thinking about like all of the time and memories and whatever that I put into YouTube and where I was at then versus where I'm at now and like if we're gonna it's hard for me to be honest on YouTube because I'm not gonna lie the the audience is so much different over here than on Instagram don't get me wrong I have such I've had such wonderful conversations and wonderful like this is where it started, right? If it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have my Instagram, which is like mainly kind of like what I pour into now. It just feels really easy to pour into Instagram. And I've met so many of you have come over from YouTube, but there's also more hate on YouTube, I feel like, I don't know. And I, I don't know, I'm still just not one who does well with it. So I gotta give myself some grace and I hope that people can see like when I started YouTube, you guys, I was 23. I was barely, barely 23 years old. I, 23, that's like barely old enough to buy an alcoholic beverage. Um, that's not even old enough to get a rental car. And I was a single mom. I had just, you know, I'd gone through a lot, was going through a lot. And then I was put in the mix of like being on the big screen on you know connected to endless amounts of people with on this channel the mom do and i was compared to two wonderful beautiful women who ha more so had their lives together than i did at the time i never felt at home with it because i think i was just in such a transition in my life and i was just really trying to figure myself out like i was trying i was literally still going through a divorce 23 young trying to be a big girl, but like still just so young, you know? Like I look back and I'm like, gosh, 
if that were my daughter going through that, trying to do what she was doing, I would be proud of her. And so that's advice I'm giving myself, my younger self, is just to be proud of what I did so young and was trying to do. But it was just hard when people would compare me to these other people, like, you know, my sister-in-laws, not even other people, just like my sister-in-laws who just were in different places in their lives. And it just made me feel like I wasn't good enough. I don't know. It's just such a weird thing. And not because anyone maybe made me feel like that. It was just like reading comments and, you know, it got caught up to me. But now like looking back, like I said, if I, if that was my daughter and I was giving her advice, I'd be like, sweetheart, you are 23, you are a baby. Like I pray my daughters are not in that situation at 23. I pray my sons are in that situation at 23. It's just a lot. And I'm not, you please, like I'm not, trying to have a pity party. I just, I think I'm talking myself through, like it's easy to look back and just be like, give yourself grace, you know? And in the moment, I know that that's hard. And if you're going through this or going through it or have gone through something similar, it's hard to give yourself grace in that moment because you just feel like, I don't know, you should have it all together all the time and you made a mistake and life is over, but you will grow so much and you will be grateful for those experiences. And I really am. I really, really, truly am. A lot of rambling. 36. I feel like I know a thing or two more than I used to at 23, the ripe age of 23. And I have been loving like podcasts. And for me, it's just like, I love to put on a good podcast, fold laundry, pick up my house, do the dishes at the end of the night when I'm like running my kids to and from like sports and activities, whatever. And there's a couple that I love. I love the Call Her Daddy podcast. I love how just like ruthless and brutally honest and inappropriate and unedited she is. And she just gets to interview the coolest people. I haven't like listened to her podcast for a long time. Like, I don't know how it started really, her backstory. I th actually think she did talk about that on one of the podcasts, I can't remember. What pulled me in was I was on TikTok and I saw that she got to interview Megan Fox, what? And of course that was like clickbaity for me. I was like, girl crush, would love to meet Megan Fox. And so that's like what introduced me to her podcast was that she got to interview Megan Fox, which I was like, if you guys listen to that podcast, if you're a Call Her Daddy fan, I was very like, shocked at how honest and genuine Megan Fox seemed. Like, I don't know if she's my cup of tea, like we'd be best friends, but I did appreciate that I felt like she was being pretty genuine. And it kind of reminded me that like, we all have baggage, we all have history, we're all hurting in some way and we're all just like real people. And that's what it seemed like with Megan. Like she just, her childhood wasn't the best. It sounds like she's still cover recovering from some trauma and things she's been through as like a little girl. And that's like what kind of makes her her. And that was just interesting to me and just like humbling and, you know, even Megan Fox, like the goddess of all beauty has gone through some things in her life that make her her. I feel like I can call her a friend. She follows me on Instagram. She's DM'd me a couple of times. Um, I love her boutique, um, Dressed in Lala. Her name is Lex, um, oh my gosh, Lex Nevin. And she has a really fun, like girly, let's just chat podcast called, um, is it Lala? Lost in Lala, Dressed in Lala, I'll link it below. And then I was actually on one of these podcasts. Uh, my friend Josie, she has one um, called Weekly Trash. She has like, she interviews like influencers and people that her audience suggests. And that's really fun because it feels closer to home because it's like in the Instagram influencer world. It always feels weird saying that. I don't ever feel like when someone's like, oh, are you an influencer? I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I resonate with that, but Sure, I post on Instagram, I'm ridiculous, I know. And sometimes I make money from it, but I don't feel like, I don't know. It just feels, makes me feel cringy to call myself that, I don't know why. I was thinking about how fun those podcasts are and how much I resonate with them and how much I need that like, sometimes as a mom of five, like I just don't get out a lot. I really just don't. And I don't have time necessarily always to have girls night and you guys know how good it feels to connect with your girlfriends and to catch up and to chit chat and just to like shoot the shit essentially <laughs> and you know have that time like you always just feel refreshed I don't know about you I do after like it doesn't happen a lot but when it does I'm like gosh I really needed that and sometimes when you listen to these these like podcasts it kind of also feels like that right and maybe you're not even a mom watching this maybe you're like 
in college and you're in the thick of like working and going to college and you know you just or you're like single and you're trying to date and find your new friend circle or whatever but like i just think that it could be fun to have a community of women um where we all just like feel a little less alone in in our journey wherever we're at in our journey so i want to start doing like a feel it feels like a podcast like you can just turn this on you don't necessarily have to watch me i'll probably be doing my makeup or like putting on nails or i don't know something where i'm not just staring at the camera i feel like it helps me kind of think more clearly even though i am talking all over the place and just like chat have a chit chat have a girl chat let's like catch up and like make it feel like a podcast maybe we'll have on guests sometimes i think it'd be fun to have my husband on we always have like the best conversations and he always gives really good insight um maybe we'll have on friends i don't know like it could go a million places but i do miss this channel i do like i feel like i put so much time and work and passion into it and it just wouldn't feel right to just i don't know let it sit and it's sad for two years and i don't know i just feel like i have learned so much that i would love to give advice to for young moms young entrepreneurs um i feel more confident in the headspace that i'm at and like what i've gone through and you know just wow that is more pigmented than I thought. Have you guys tried those? The e.l.f. liquid blushes? I don't even know where that went. Um, hopefully this blends out more, but it's really bright right now. So anyways, that's what this is gonna feel like. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is like, this is gonna be like a welcome back. I look like a clown. Someone please help me. Um, what I'm thinking we're gonna do is just like, this is gonna be like the welcome back announcement. Hey, I'm back. I'm back into YouTube. And I want to do more you know, like let's connect, let's chat type of feel, sit down, do your dishes, listen to this vibes. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to think of like a format in the sense of like, I don't know, sometimes I get in these rants or I get in these places in my mind where I'm like, I just want to talk about this. I just want to like put it out for the world, you know? And so I'll probably start the show off with something like that, like where I'm at in my headspace. And then I want to answer, like, do like a Q&A. Like, if you want to drop it down in the comments below. Um, I'm trying to figure out if we can do something, like, anonymously. If, like, you don't feel comfortable. Um, you want to talk about something, but you don't want to talk about it publicly. Or, like, drop it in the comments below. I'll try to figure out a form in which we could do that. So that you could feel like you're still a part of the show. But it's not like you have to be put on blast. Um, but if you're comfortable with it, drop it down in the comments below. Okay, that blended out a little bit better, right? That took a little bit of effort. <laughs> Drop it down in the comments below and we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna chat. It could be anything, literally. Sex advice, advice for school, in-law advice. I don't know. And I'm just gonna share my experience. And it, and it doesn't mean that I'm like sitting here being like, I'm basically call her daddy, even though it'd be so cool to meet her and be on her show. But I do think it would be a fun way to reconnect and just to... I don't know, go over where I'm at now in life and a different perspective that I've had. I've gone through so much in the past 13 years. Um, and I just feel a little more confident in sharing that. I think as you get older, it's easier to, for me, it's been easier to not feel as ashamed about like my life or my mistakes or the fact that I'm not trying to put out this like perfect persona. I think for so long I was so worried about doing that or like what people would think of me and now I just kind of am like either one I'm too tired because I have five kids or two I'm just have realized that like life is really hard and we're all doing the best that we can and we all need a, just like a little bit more grace when it comes to growing and navigating I mean especially when you're young like who I thought I was and what I thought I wanted when I was 23 is so different than who I am now, what I want now. And I don't know. I just wish that I so badly wish I could have went back to that little, little girl. I'm going to call her a little girl, that young woman and been like, Carly, you are fine. This is fine. This is a part of growing up. Like give yourself some grace. It reminds me of that Miley Cyrus song, like, you think I used to be wild, da, 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 gonna have fun. You know that one? Um, I just love it because she's like, you think I was like crazy and wild and doing all these things, but I was really just young. And it's like, it's so true. And I can't even imagine like for her being in Hollywood and just 
oh my gosh, everything at your fingertips, like the temptations and, you know, so that's kind of how I feel. I feel like I'm basically Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I know, I know, you guys are rolling your eyes. I'm excited to do this with you. I'm excited to be back. That feels more orange on camera than it really is. I do have a crazy obsession with makeup and skincare, so I feel like that will be a big part of the show. Um, just because like I could watch makeup reels, tutorials forever, and it feels more fun like girl time if we just get ready and do this, you know? So if you have questions about the products, I'll probably just end up linking them or writing everything down in the, the notes or the description below. Maybe I won't, but if you have a question, just let me know and I will love to answer it for you. Or if you have good suggestions for me or something you want me to try, you also should let me know. So the name of this mascara is Lenny. That's my first daughter, which is so cool. It's tubing mascara and I haven't tried tubing mascara in a while. This is like my third time using it, but I'm like blown away. I didn't curl my eyelashes and I'm pretty blown away at how it works. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you wanna get personal. I'm gonna really do my best just to be as vulnerable and unedited as possible because I feel like that's the, that's the secret sauce. That's the magic. That's what I really have to offer. I, I'm, I'm not knowing, I'm not knowing what days. I think I'm filming, I'm gonna be filming on Monday. So my goal is to have these up Tuesdays would be so cool and I'll just be like a weekly thing so it's not gonna be a lot it'll be once a week but hopefully it will build and we can get some cool guests on some cool collabs and this can just go somewhere fun and we can revive the Carly Styles channel I'm in my beauty office one day I'll give you a tour of this space and we'll talk about it so yeah drop it down in the comments below it's good to see you guys give me a kiss come here I missed you